experience actually well that's epic and you make the story sound quite linear like you know i didn't do trail running then i did trail running and then now here i am <laughs> and i I'm started sure. yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> big in, career <laughs> yeah in that time i'm sure there's a lot of ups and downs but for people who are maybe they don't even run right now or maybe they're just wanting to get into running or they only do road running what would your advice be in order to be for starting trail running specifically because like you said when you first started oh road running and trail running it's it's the same thing but now that you have your five or six years of experience what would your advice be for people who are wanting to start running on trails um well actually i think the most important thing is to mention that i like i ran for quite a long time before i even started trail running so what i did was like building a like a base of running i like i was already quite fit in running on flat parts and also like on hilly stuff and i think that's something many people don't really think about when they start with trail running they think they will be like they will have a great time in the nature and uh, enjoy every um, when they die and go <laughs> <to> hill. <laughs> it's like i mean <laughs> i'm just that's actually what i don't like there are so many people like trying to tell on Instagram or whatever the social media parts like oh it's uh, trail running is so beautiful and it's running up and down in the nature and actually that's not true of course it is also it's beautiful yeah. but man it's such a hard sport and it's brutal and if you don't like yeah build your base actually like try to run um and like get the feeling of that running is something you really, really much like and enjoy. And if you feel fit in the in running, then you can start running on trails and try to start on like running um, on hills or even mountains. But just take it easy. You don't have to be like a Kilian Jornet in the first trail running event. Actually, it's like what so many people do in the beginning. Um, also, some friends of mine they think they like to hike so they are good trail runners and actually that's a good start maybe if you feel like um if you like mountains that's actually something which would help but still trail running and hiking or running and trail running is definitely not the same so um like take it easy in the beginning and um yeah also don't be frustrated if it doesn't feel great in the beginning it's hard work so and would, would you yeah. say for someone who maybe has a base level of fitness, you know, they've been road running for a little while, is that how transferable to the trails would you say that is? Because I feel like running up and down hills is obviously it's your cardiovascular system, but so much of it would be about your muscles, right? Mm -hmm. And how strong you can pull yourself up the hill and stop yourself from falling over when you're running down the hill. So how transferable would the road running be to the trails? Oh, I think actually that's something so individual. Like, um, like on the like, there will be many people who love to run on the roads, but they don't feel the need to run on trails, and then that's that's totally fine. I think. Um, oh, that's so hard to <laughs> like to answer that. Um, I think if you like running, you should definitely give it a try. But if you don't feel like, for many, many people also in my, like for my friends, uh, they, for them, it's totally fine to stay, like to run on the road or to run in the, like on the streets or maybe like on the, on a gravel road or something like that. But they don't need like the adventure of running on trails. And then that's perfectly fine. And, I think the point in like what you also mentioned with the strength, it's something which so many people forget. Like you um, have to train your whole body, not only like, yeah, that's why I said trail running and running is such a difference. There's like, yeah, you have to be physically strong to like be like to run, to be able to run on trails and, so I think if the mental thing, like if you like to do it, um, there's, yeah, then you like, 
I think <laughs> oh, it's so like I'm I'm getting lost now in my no, no, right. in my motivation <laughs> speak. <Yeah. laughs> no, actually, what I'm like, what I'm trying to say is, if you like, give it a try. If you don't like it, it's totally fine. If you like it, um, running on trails, then there are like huge differences in trails. Like there's technical trails, there's gravel roads, there's like hilly roads, there's like um, crazy alpen alpinism alpine yeah alpine stuff so there are so many different things to do and to explore and if you like i think everyone who wants to be close to nature it's perfect to start trail running but it's also okay to not be a trail runner that's what i think what is possible like what is necessary to say but if you want to do it there's always a way to do it even if you're not the strongest or fastest person yeah because i was thinking about it from the perspective of someone who you know, wants to get into it. So it's a good point to say that it's very different to road running and not everyone has to run the trails. I think yeah. that's quite an important part. But, if, you know, if someone was really wanting to get into the trail running, would you say that their training would have to be quite a lot different to what a road runner would have to do? Like maybe things like strength training or like weight training, would you say that that is more important in trail running than it is in road running? Actually, no, because if you take me, for example, um, I was like for the last years, I actually did not really live in mountains. Now I'm in Germany, but before that I was living in Munich, which is a city. So, um, and I trained like 99% in the flat and on the road. Um, and that's why I moved now because what I am experiencing now is that the people run away on the technical parts and on the steep parts. So I have to improve on them. But for me, for the last four years, being a professional athlete, it worked pretty well. So um, what I definitely had to um, put more energy in was like the strength training which I'm super bad still. Like, <laughs> it's definitely not my favorite part. It's like the mobility and the strength training. It's, ah, Just I'm be so running. lazy. <laughs> I would prefer running 10 hours around a mountain than do five <laughs> minutes of stretching. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, but I think it's totally fine if you're living in a city or somewhere flat. You can definitely also train for being a trail runner, I think. But of course, it's better to be around places where you can just jump on the trails um, and train in the terrain, which is necessary to like improve, for example, on the technical parts or stuff. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Now, going back to your first race, you came third, which is pretty crazy. 